Hallie IB, it's Miss Kosh. I was asked to do this number 17, just to kind of talk you through it. So I worked ahead to, to think through what I needed to do. And um, I just started finding triangles where I knew enough information that I could find more pieces. And I just worked from there. So I think that if you, you could start, like this would be a good place to start because you've got um, a side angle side, side angle side right here. Um, and then you could find other pieces of information. But um, what I chose to do a second ago was I didn't start here. I started with this triangle. And so let me talk you through my work. Do, 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 do. I broke this up basically into three triangles, and then I just started naming things in order. I, I, I skipped the letter E because E means something in math, and so I didn't want to assign it a different value. But um, I used the law of cosine first to find side A. And so that gave me this. I found IB likes us to round to three sig figs typically, but then, then you get a little too far off. So I just started storing everything in my Casio. Um, the, it's the button right above, if you have a Casio, it's the button right above the on button that has an arrow. And so then I just did arrow and then alpha A. Um, so I found that one. Then once I knew A, then I could also find this angle B right here. Um, using the law of sine, I did that here, came up with a new number, I stored that one as B, and then I knew that angle C down here would be 180 minus the two other angles that I knew, I stored that as C, it was this, I stored it, oh, I lied, this was C, and then I knew that this whole thing, I thought if I could find angle D, then I'd have I'd have a 60 on this side, I'd find angle D, and then I'd have this, I'd know that one, and then I could then work and find F next. Um, and so that's what I did. I, I, I knew that this whole thing, C plus D was going to equal 95, so I could find D. Then I crunched it out and um, used that to use the law of cosine to find um, F. Once I knew F, then I had three sides of a triangle up here, this triangle. I don't know if you can see what I'm describing. It's now full of yellow all over. Okay, um, and then once I knew, then once I found, um, since I knew F, I could then find angle G, um, and I stored that, and then I knew that the area of the pentagon, the whole thing, was going to be equal to the area of triangle 1 plus 2 plus 3. So I just set that up using the, the formula area equals one half a b sine c i don't know why that looks so funny um and that's what i did three times i just found two sides and the angle in between them and i kept everything exact um until this final moment so that i could um not worry about rounding and ib does like three sig figs so this value here rounded to 7400 square meters so um Hopefully that made sense. Let me know if you have any problems.